Welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. In today's lesson, we will first use the PMT function to calculate a monthly amount of payment on a $15,000 personal loan at 8% and paying it back over 60 months. Next, I'll introduce you to the Goal Seek feature in Excel to help us to customize our loan to match our budget. The PMT is a very useful function in Excel and we'll start it off by equals PMT and our left parentheses. Now rather than going up and selecting the wizard I'm going to introduce a keyboard shortcut at this point. Control A brings up the argument box from the wizard. Notice that for PMT there are three arguments that are required. These are the three arguments in bold. There are two other optional arguments. We'll ignore those in today's lesson. The first is our interest rate. Now our interest rate as you can see we selected over here as 8% in cell B4. The gotcha in the PMT function is this. Remember that the rate that I have over there is a per annum rate. It's the annual rate. Since we're interested in a monthly payment, we have to divide that annual rate by the number of payments per year. In this case, we're going to divide the 8% in cell B4 by 12. NPER is the number of payments. Now again, these are monthly payments. So I have a little chart over here. For a five-year loan, that means 60 payments. And I've put that in reference uh, in B5. PV stands for present value. In other words, how much are we borrowing? That's the amount up here in cell B3. Always, when you're creating formulas, make them sell references because if you want to change a value later on, it won't affect your formula. Everything will change accordingly. We click OK, and there's the PMT. It's going to be a $304.15 per month payment. Now notice that it's a negative number because it's money that's coming out of our checking account. Nevertheless, there are a lot of people who just have an aversion to seeing a negative amount. Here's a quick way to change it. I use the F2 button to edit in the cell. And if I go over and between the equal and the PMT, if I put a negative uh, sign in there, it just cosmetically changes our formula to a positive number. OK, now let's customize our loan. We're going to use Goal Seek. In Goal Seek, we know the result that we want, but we just don't know how to reach it. So our goal is to have a monthly payment that is $275, not the $304 from our calculation. For Goal Seek, we must use a cell that contains a formula. So we're going to use the PMT formula. And remember, in PMT, we have three possible arguments that we can change. So when we know our goal is $275, there are three things that we can change. We can borrow less money. We can negotiate a better interest rate. Or we could extend the terms of the loan. Let's use the first goal seek let's borrow less money. So with the cell that contains the formula selected, go up to Tools, Goal Seek, and we're at the cell that contains the formula. Our goal, type this in, is $275. What are we going to change? In the first scenario, we're going to borrow less money. So we select this cell, and now we see that to pay $275 a month, and leaving everything else in place, we can only borrow $13,563. Well, I want to borrow more. So let's go to the second one. Again, we're selecting a cell with the formula in it. Go up to Tools, Goal Seek, and again, we type in 275 because that's our goal. Now, in this scenario, we are going to negotiate a lower interest rate. So the cell that we select to change is here. And this will show us that to borrow $15,000 for 60 months, we'll have to negotiate a 4% interest rate. This is really a great feature, isn't it? All right, our last possible argument. Again, the cell that contains the formula. Tools, Goal Seek. Our goal is to pay $275. And this time, what we're going to change is we're going to extend our loan. So to borrow $15,000 at 8%, how much longer will I have to pay? There you go. Another eight months, 68 months rather than the 60. 
Okay, that's a great tip, isn't it? Goal seek. We'll see you in the next time. Tips and time savers.